Well, here it is the next morning, 12 hours and 48 seconds later, and the print is done. Um, I've already popped it off the bed. Uh, you can see in the corner there, there's some uh, support material. I started prying it away, but it looks like I'm going to have to get a knife in there to clean the rest of it off. That's expected. That's the way that they sliced the skirt for whatever reason. You can see it's thicker at the base, that little rib, and then it gets thinner at the top. For some reason they didn't like slice it in the middle of the rib or in a flat part like that side. So I mean a little body filler is all it's going to take once I get that support material off and glue it to the next piece that will be easy to to cover up and fix but yeah there we go um, I printed it at 0.2 layer height so it's got uh, uh, nicer resolution smaller print layers so it's easy easier to fill and sand the sides to get a smooth surface um, that's recommended online. The guide that I'm going by kind of shows you how the parts should be oriented and um, what resolutions to use and what infill. I think I did this at 20% infill. It might have been 25. Uh, it's either 20 or 25% infill and a 0.2 layer height and like I said it took 12 hours just to print this one and this is the smallest and it still looks too small to me <laughs> I mean I and sorry about the shadows I'm kind of holding a shop light to get some light in here I've got this printer literally in a closet um, so yeah uh, I'm really happy about that. We had our air conditioning unit, portable air conditioner that's in our bedroom, was going last night, and it doesn't appear to have affected it. I don't see any jumped steps anywhere. Um, the finish looks really nice. Looks like my first layer height is pretty darn good. The glass did a good job. Um, was finished while I was asleep so when I got up I just it just took a light pull and it popped right off the bed so it wasn't stuck too hard but it stuck good enough that it didn't pull up or warp anywhere so I was really happy about that. that's what I was expecting because my older Robo 3d printer had a glass bed and that's what I did is I just wiped it down with a towel spray it with Aquanet hairspray and go or for small parts, just use Elmer's glue stick, just in the small center area that the small piece would print in. And so I was hoping that that was just going to be my experience with this glass also, and, and so far it looks like it is. I did not print a brim, I just let it print, and it did its thing, and it did it great. So off we go. Uh, we've got plans today. Uh, wife and I are going to go on a trip today that's going to take, I don't know, at least six hours and I'm a little bit nervous about leaving this printer alone. I don't have OctoPrint set up. I don't have a camera on it so I can stop the print remotely over the internet or, any, or anything. So I'm not going to start the next print until we get home because the next print is one of the bigger pieces of the skirt and it is supposed to take I believe 22 hours so it's about double this one so there we go very happy first first actual body piece of R2D2 done and it seems to have worked great uh, I'm really happy with that and it still looks too small to me until I get one of those bigger pieces starts to print on the print bed and I can hold this up to it. It still looks like this piece is, like the scale is wrong or something, but I just have to keep reminding myself it's one of the smaller pieces. 
uh, put the light down and flip it over here. The only support I printed was in that corner. It's got uh, overhangs down here. And it did that center hole, right? There's uh, three holes for bolts. Those bolts go up into the parts above it. And the insides of those holes got a little bit messed up, especially that center one. There was some stringing and some pieces of filament that were hanging down, but all you have to do is clean it up enough to get the bolt up inside it it doesn't actually you never see it and it's it's structurally sound in there it's just some stringing around where it was trying to uh, make the bolt holes there in an overhang because it printed in the orientation that you see it right now which is kind of counterintuitive you would have thought it would print the other direction but this is the direction it's supposed to print. So there's a little, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. There's a little bit of a odd layer line thing going on there and it's right at the point where that support's coming out by that center bolt. And as I said, there's some stringing that was happening. Not stringing, but actual filament hanging down because it didn't quite handle the uh, inside of that very well and I think that that weird uh, line on the inside of the print is because of that possibly because that's where that center piece comes out and it had to do a bridge to join it but it's not visible at all in the front so at first I thought oh our air conditioner did that and th that one layer line looks messed up but then I felt the front and it's not there so that's that's not caused by a step problem that's just like ringing or something from the fact that it's it bridged over to that piece and maybe there was some filament hanging on the nozzle a little bit when it was trying to do the uh there's no way I can show without like getting a mirror in there you can see a little bit of filament hanging down there but so yeah, all in all, pretty much, pretty much what I expected, and very happy with the results. So, wish me luck. <laughs> that one piece, tw <clears throat> twelve hours. So I've I've seen a figure of twenty five hundred to print the whole thing. So, um, I wrote down how long this took on a piece of paper. Um, I'll fire up the computer at some point today, and I'll make a spreadsheet or or even just a notepad document for now and track how long at least the really big prints take so I have just some idea of, of how long it takes to print the whole thing. Um, as far as the spool goes, uh, there we go. That was a brand new spool, full one kilogram spool and that's just kind of a visual, visual representation of how much that one small part used. Small part. <laughs> and you can see it's, it's basically, you can see through the spool on the other side, so it's basically about to where that spool opens, so like three quarters of an inch, or almost an inch of the spool there, just for that one small part. I think the whole skirt's going to take a little bit more than one uh, roll of filament. And again, this is filament that I got with this printer and a smoking deal that I got on Craigslist. This printer and filament that a guy had for about a year and a half to two years almost. He bought it, sat in a box. He never took it out of the box and put it together. and. 175 bucks I got it for. So like eight rolls of filament plus this printer. So I did a little work on the printer, so I've got additional money into the printer now, but I've still got six rolls of the filament. Gave one away with the Robo 3D, my, my original printer that I sold. And then I went through a roll of the green filament. I think I mentioned that in the first part of this video, so they recommend PLA Plus, 
PETG or ABS to print R2-D2 in. I'm not going to do ABS because of the warping and I don't have an enclosure. You have to keep the temperature the right. Keep the temperature up to keep it from splitting and warping. Um, I haven't decided about PLA+. Plus. I haven't tried PETG on this printer. My only spool, I think I might have also mentioned that, my only spool of PETG is really old and has absorbed moisture, so I either have to dry that out or just buy a new roll if I want to try PETG. Or I can just do the whole thing in ABS. It's not, don't really plan on taking it outside or taking it places. It's going to be a home droid. So. We'll see, but the skirt is a non-load-bearing piece, supposedly, and so I figured that one certainly won't matter if I print that one in regular PLA, along with all the greeblies, those should be fine in regular PLA, and that should maybe use up the rest of my rolls printing the stuff that doesn't have to be load-bearing. Okay, well, didn't mean to make this video go on quite so long, just wanted to show... 12 hours later, successful print, happy me. And off we go into printing R2-D2 full size.